Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover another interesting cipher, which is multiplicative cipher. So let's get started. Let's start with the mathematical definition. So here the plain text P takes an integer value from 0 to 25, which we represent by Z26. We have already covered this notation in the modular operator video. Do check it if you haven't, link in the i button. Coming back to the topic, the cipher text C also takes the integer values from 0 to 25, which we represent by Z26. So we can see that the domain of plain text and cipher text is same as the additive cipher. However, in multiplicative cipher, the key domain is Z26 star. So what is this Z26 star? To understand this, let's understand what is Zn star. So Zn star contains integers from 0 to n such that the GCD of a and n is 1. So Zn star is a set that contains integers which are strictly greater than 0 and strictly less than n and satisfy a condition that is GCD of a and n is equal to 1. So let's apply this definition to Z26 star. So Z26 star is a set of integers which are greater than 0 and less than 26 and the GCD of a and 26 is equal to 1. The integers satisfying the following condition are as follows that is 1357, 911, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23 and 25. If you observe closely, these are the set of odd integers from 1 to 25 apart from 13 because GCD of 13 and 26 is 13 which is not equal to 1. So this is the key domain of a multiplicative cipher. Having understood this, let's look at the encryption and decryption algorithm. So here the encryption algorithm is ek equal to p into k mod 26. So as the name suggests, we multiply the plain text with the key k and apply the mod 26 operator. So here in encryption, we multiply with the key. Let's look at the decryption algorithm. So the decryption algorithm is dk equal to c into k inverse mod 26. Here k inverse is the multiplicative inverse of the key k. We have already covered what is multiplicative inverse and how to calculate it in the previous video. Do watch it if you haven't, link in the i button. So coming back to the topic, in order to get the plain text, we multiply the cipher text with the multiplicative inverse of the key and then apply the mod 26 operator. So in decryption, we multiply with the multiplicative inverse of the key. So this was a mathematical definition of the multiplicative cipher. Let's look at the diagrammatic representation. The following is a template of a symmetric key crypto system. We have already covered this template in the symmetric key crypto system video. Do watch it if you haven't, link in the i button. So here the encryption algorithm used by Alice is ek equal to p into k mod 26. So here Alice takes the plain text and multiplies the key k and applies the mod 26 operator in order to generate the cipher text. Now this cipher text is passed through an insecure public channel to Bob. Now Bob uses the decryption algorithm which is dk equal to c into k inverse mod 26. So here Bob uses the cipher text and the multiplicative inverse of the key k to generate the plain text. So this was the diagrammatic representation of the multiplicative cipher. Now let's solve an example to understand this clearly. So here the example is encrypt the message hello using the multiplicative cipher with key as 5 and again retrieve the plain text from the cipher text. So here we have the plain text p as hello, the key k is 5 and the encryption algorithm is c equal to p into k mod 26. We will construct a table to solve the problem. The first row of the table is P, so we input individual alphabets of the plain text. So we have H, E, L, L, O. The next row is value of P, that is the numerical value of P. Let's call our alphabet to number mapping table back for a reference. So here the value of H is 7, value of E is 4, value of L is 11, again we have 11, and the value of O is 14. The next row is p into k. So we multiply the key k that is 5 with all the above values. So 7 into 5 gives us 35, 4 into 5 gives us 20, 11 into 5 is 55, again 55 and 14 into 5 is 70. The next row is p into k mod 26. So we apply the mod 26 operator to all the previous values. So 35 mod 26 gives us 9, 20 mod 26 since 20 is less than 26 we have 20. Now comes 55. So we know that 26 twos are 52 and the difference between 55 and 52 is 3. So 55 mod 26 is 3. So we can see that we can calculate modulus operator manually 
or else we can use a scientific calculator to find it. We have already covered how to calculate modulus using a scientific calculator in the modular operator video. Do watch it if you haven't, link in the i button. Now let's calculate 55 mod 26 using a scientific calculator. So the first formula that we are using is A divided by B. We use the calculate button to input the values of A and B. So the value of A is 55 and B is 26. We get the value. We use the S2D button to get the value of X, that is 2. Now we input the second formula, which is A minus X into B. Now we use the calculate button. Value of A is 55, X is 2 and B is 26. So the value is 3. So 55 mod 26 uses 3. Now let's calculate 70 mod 26 using the scientific calculator. So we'll use the history feature that is the upward button to get the first formula that is A by B. Now the new value of A is 70 and B is 26. We'll use the S2D button to get the value of X. So here the value of X is 2. Now we use the second formula. Here the value of A is 70, the value of X is 2, and B is 26. So we have got the remainder that is 18. So 70 mod 26 gives us 18. So we can see we can calculate the modulus manually or using a scientific calculator whichever is comfortable with you. Moving forward, the next row is C, that is our ciphertext. Let's refer to the mapping table to get the corresponding letters. So here 9 represents J, 20 represents U, 3 represents D, again we have 3 so it is D, and 18 represents S. So the cipher text is J U D D S. So you have successfully encrypted the plain text using multiplicative cipher. Now let's decrypt it. Let's look at the decryption algorithm. So the decryption algorithm is P equal to C into K inverse mod 26. So we can see we require K inverse for decrypting. So first we need to calculate the K inverse that is a multiplicative inverse of the key K. We have already covered how to calculate multiplicative inverse using the extended Euclidean algorithm in the previous video. I would highly recommend you to watch that first because it lays the foundation for the further calculation. Link in the i button. Coming back to the topic, here the value of A is 5, that is the value of key and the value of B is 26. We will construct a table to find the K inverse. So the columns are Q, A1, A2, A3 and B1, B2, B3. The initial value of Q is null and the initial value of A1 is 1, A2 is 0 and A3 is the second number that is 26 and the initial value of B1 is 0, B2 is 1 and B3 is the first number that is 5. Now we know that the formula for calculating Q is floor of A3 by B3. So it is floor of 26 by 5. So when we divide 26 by 5, we get 5 point something. And when we apply the floor operator, we get 5. So the new value of Q is 5. Now the next values of A's are the previous values of B's. So A1 becomes 0, A2 becomes 1 and A3 becomes 5. Now let's calculate the further values of B. So B1 is 1 minus 5 into 0 which gives us 1 b2 is 0 minus 5 into 1 which gives us minus 5 b3 is 26 minus 5 into 5 that is 26 minus 25 which gives us 1. Now since b3 is 1 we will stop the iteration and since b3 is 1 it indicates that mi exists and what is the mi? That is the current value of b2 that is minus 5. So k inverse is minus 5. But we know that the domain of key is Z26 star. So we apply the mod 26 operator. And since the number is negative, we just add 26. So minus 5 plus 26 gives us 21. So the multiplicative inverse of the key K is 21. Now we have got all the things for the decryption algorithm. So let's decrypt the ciphertext. So the ciphertext is J U D D S. The MI of key is 21. And the decryption algorithm is P equal to C into K inverse mod 26. We will construct a table for the decryption. 
So the first row is C, that is a ciphertext. So we have J, U, D, D, S. The next row is the value of C, that is a numerical value of C. Let's call a mapping table back for a reference. So your J is 9, U is 20, D is 3, again we have D, so again 3, and S is 18. The next row is C into K inverse. That is, we multiply the k inverse with all the above numbers. So 9 into 21 gives us 189, 21 into 20 gives us 420, 3 into 21 gives us 63, again 63, and 18 into 21 gives us 378. The next row is c into k inverse mod 26. So we apply mod 26 to all the above values. Since the number are big, we will use a scientific calculator for our convenience. Now let's calculate 189 mod 26. So we will use the upward button to get the first formula. So the new value of A is 189 and the value of B is 26 and we get the value of X that is 7. Now we will use a second formula. So here value of A is 189, X is 7 and B is 26. So we have got the value as 7. So 189 modulus 126 is 7. Now let's find 420 mod 26. So we use the first formula, it is a by b. The new value of a is 420. b remains same, that is 26. And we have the value of x, that is 16. We use the second formula, a is 420. The new value of x is 16 and b is 26. So we get 4. So 420 mod 26 gives us 4. Continuing further, the next value is 63. So the new value of A is 63, B remains same, and X value is 2. So here the A is 63, X is 2, and B is 26, so we get 11. So 63 mod 26 gives us 11. The next number is also the same, so we get 11. And finally we calculate 378 mod 26. So here the value of A is 378 and the value of b is 26, which gives us the value of x as 14. Now use the second formula. So a is 378, x is 14, and b is 26. So we get the value as 14. So 378 mod 26 gives us 14. So we can see using a scientific calculator really makes our job easy. Now coming back, the last row is p, that is a plain text. So let's call a mapping table back for a reference. So your 7 represents H, 4 represents E, 11 represents L, again 11 is L, and 14 represents O. So we have retrieved our plain text that is hello. So we have successfully encrypted the message hello and again decrypted it to get our plain text back. So this was all about multiplicative cipher. In the next video we will cover affine cipher. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below and if you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.